Hello and welcome to part number 17 of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild No Death playthrough in Master Mode. Today we're going to be trying to get the third ferry unlocked. So to start off, we need to head to this Sheikah Tower, the Hebra Tower, and then make our way down this path all the way to Rito Village and then back down to the Tabantha Frontier. So because it's cold up here, I'm going to make some additional um, spicy pepper food, concoction, whatever. And once I have sufficient of those, I'm going to make my way towards the uh, Hembro Tower. Now, the cold factor is plus two, which is the max cold factor you can get in this game. So that is what we're going to have to contend with. <coughs> Excuse me. So here we are. Two spicy peppers here. And I'm going to see if there is one additional here. I'm going to use this spear to actually break these. Okay. I'll see. Okay. Wow. He is not doing that. Okay, what do we get? Um, yep, that, that sounds about right. And we ca can't cook anything here because obviously we do not have... Do we have flint? We don't have any flint. Great. Okay. Um, I believe the stable has uh, a fire. And we can cook these there and then fly to the frontier or glide down from the Sheikah Tower towards the Rito village. Register the shrine in the Rito village and then move on. Okay, so there we are. And it's going to be freezing here, obviously. I do not want to lose a heart, so please hurry up. Hurry up. Thank you. And yep. So if if you stand near the fire, that too will prevent you from taking damage. Okay, so we cook that. Perfect. Seven minutes thirty seconds. We're gonna start eating that right away. Okay, and that should keep us safe for the time being. Teleport to Hebra Tower. Well, the third of the Great Fairy Fountains is... Uh, the three of the Great Fairy Fountains are not in the worst spots. They are easily accessible as you're traversing through the game, making your way up to various regions. Like, past Zora, actually the first one at Kakariko Village, which is a really good start-off point, and then past the uh, Zora's Domain, and this one by the Rito Village. Okay, yeah, so we're heading uh, this way. We can actually mark the tower there. Now, I wonder if I should just head to the tower or actually register a shrine over there. I mean, it is on the way. There's nothing preventing me from doing that, and that's the beating path. So initially we're going to glide, and then we're going to just take the horse. And this is where Tears of the Kingdom comes in real handy. Um, you can just keep gliding from the Sky Islands and make your way towards the various shrines that are found on the surface. And then subsequent to that you can actually um, uh, use Tulin to propel yourself even further. So aerial travel is really really good in this game. Uh, interior of the kingdom. Okay, so here we are. And I think we should be pretty close to the stable, actually. That took us pretty far. So we're going to get the horse. And there you have it. We'll 
remove some boulders. Now this should be good. I don't think this is as cold. And some Bokoblin camps here, or I guess the Lizolfo camp. There was supposed to be a shrine there, I suppose, but that's okay. I'm just going to go past that. Oh yeah, there's a village. And does this not have a shrine? I guess not. The shrine was back there somewhere. Rito stable. Okay. So that is registered. And I wonder if I can go through here. Oh, and the moment we set foot here, I think the divine beast will also wake up or you'll become aware of its presence. Go, 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 Mr. Horse. Through here. Splendid. I guess through here, maybe? There it is, yes. I think the game wants me to... No? <laughs> It wants me to get off here, yeah, kind of figured. And lo and behold, in my opinion, the mightiest of the divine beasts, Wa Meadow. And 10,000 years ago, I think the Sheikah had this done right. This is basically the air force of the Hyrule Kingdom. It launches high powered laser mounted drones. It's completely shielded and I would imagine it has other attacks as well. So, I mean, perfect weapon to just rain fire down from above onto the enemy, land enemies, aerial enemies, what have you. It's perfect. Okay, so can I go up here? No, okay, that's fine. I'm gonna register the shrine here and make our way forward. Uh, he has some dialogue I don't care about. There's also a goddess statue here to pray to, to get more uh, hard container or stamina vessel. There's a bunch of stuff here which is of value to us. Uh, the shop here sells bomb arrows which is really valuable. Uh, and there's another NPC that we want from here which we can contribute towards the uh, population of Terrytown. And this is the shrine, so that's why we need to be here. And there are other quests associated with this place as well. But for now, that's all I need. Okay, so we are headed that away. Yes. Um hmm. So I've chosen to fly. I hope that... Okay, yeah, that's another... I think that's a DLC shrine. It wouldn't come to play right now. I guess I'll just have to run to the... Um, to the location. The horse can't make it up here. So see, a lot of this area... Uh, cannot be approached by the horse, which is uh, why the ancient bridal set is so important on the horse. Well, I call it the ancient ancient bridal set. <laughs> it's just the ancient bridal and the ancient um, saddle. Those are the two things. Okay, I don't think I need the gear right now, so I'm just going to wear this. I have frost resistance. I don't think that uh, tower has frost. I'll have to check. Okay. And there is a malice here. 
the master sword has been restored so the master sword will be at 60 damage here and put away the spear I don't know I'm not a fan of running around with weapons on my back I rather just wield them when I'm in in combat Okay, here we are. I wonder if there's any enemies here. Uh, just the, I would imagine, just the, uh, just the glue, uh, just the malice stuff should be here. I keep calling it gloom because that's what they call it in Tears of the Kingdom. Tears of the Kingdom renames a bunch of stuff, like this thing right here. We can't climb this, but I believe through here um, there is a way to destroy this okay we're gonna climb that one and thankfully it's not raining really the froggy set should have been introduced in the game before so there it is see the see that's the, the eye right there that's our enemy we need to destroy that so we're gonna use a uh, bow. What do we have here? I guess this one would do the trick. There you go. That should clear the path for us. Yep. And that drops the tower. I like these little solutions to the game. And that should pretty much be it. This place was ravaged by malice, so the tower growing out of it um, kind of made it so that it, it just kind of ripped through the malice and made its way up there. Okay, so there is um, coal here because so my effects are still going on. That's good. Okay, so we'll register this tower and not too bad another part of the map identified took a while and there is wild meadow looking mighty in the skies okay so teleportation unlocked scanning the area and we might be able to get some fairies out of this i don't think i've used many so maybe not But definitely the fairy fountain will be unlocked. Okay, so it's this specific area. Gotcha. The area underneath me I haven't unlocked. That's okay. We'll get there eventually. Okay, perfect. And the fairy should be right there. So there it is. And there's a shrine up there too. Uh, so we may as well go there, although that shrine is a little bit off into a difficult area. And I think the Thunder Plateau is also there, the, the Thunder Shrine. Uh, from there, it's not the easiest way to make here. There's a lot of Guardian Skywalkers, Watchers, that's why I, I didn't make my way from there. I choo I prefer this path. Okay, so this specific place has a lot of Indira carrots, I believe. If I'm not incorrect. Or a couple of them. Maybe not, maybe it just has mighty thistles. Okay, that's fine. So we'll engage with this fairy and give her 1000 rupees. There you go. Perfect. There you go, out comes the ferry. Ok, 
Okay, and now let's look at some of the items that you can upgrade. Okay, let's enhance so she can greatly enhance now. Okay, so I can upgrade some parts. Lionel hoof and guts. Okay, so I'm low on the hooves. I need more hooves. Okay, got it. I have a lot of guts though. So um that is good. I think I'm gonna choose to do the pants just because helm and chest piece may be swapped back and forth. This though I can do. Okay, so that is done. And plus 12, perfect. And we can't upgrade anything else, so she'll leave. Okay, so hooves and guts, that's what we need. So we need to kill a few more Lionels. Specifically, um, so we need six of these, uh, or sorry, four of these. So we need six more. Okay, that's fine. And we have enough guts. Okay, that's fine. So that is done. Next up, I'm gonna try to engage some Lynels up here. Uh, there should be three Lynels in this area. Um, now this area is going to be frozen, so I'm going to be taking some frost damage, but I'm going to eat my um, eat my cooked meals to, um, sorry, not my cooked meals, but I'm going to not rely on that. I'm going to choose to take the damage and eat my simmering hearty fruit dish to uh, basically supplement my... Uh, health which I'll do shortly okay so what I want to be wearing is yeah definitely the savage Lionel bows this is fine shock arrows I'll start with you and Hylian shield and we're set to go now the Lionel should be straight up ahead right there and I'm gonna summon a horse and hopefully I don't take too too much damage and then after this I'm gonna have to farm some more hardy durians now this should be a silver Lionel I think so it's gonna be pretty high level okay and boom and at this point I'm gonna eat the meal run like the wind okay one two three four five off i need the quick draw fx on this because that really helps with combat okay okay and that's Okay. Okay, got that. And we'll use you to supplement some damage. Okay. That's fine. Oh, can't believe I got that one. I'm so out of practice. Okay, that broke. We'll use the other one. Okay, run away. Uh, hold on, hold on. Actually, we may have to use this. Can't really run away from that one. Okay. Oh, got it again. Alright, so this is not going exactly as I want it to. I want to be able to stun it. Oh, shit. Sorry. Oh, gosh. Okay, that is not good. Okay, where's my weapon? Okay, so that at least reset that. And we're gonna pass that. Okay. 
Okay, got that. He's regenerating his health. I okay. Okay, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm out. Okay, that was close. Hmm. Keep getting these flurry rushes, <laughs> but that's not doing much damage. Okay, well, hold on. Let's quickly switch back to a proper weapon. And boom, boom. Are you gonna start fire? Yeah, there you go. Do that attack, please. And there you go. Let me eat some food now to replenish my health, my dwindling health. Okay, that. Good. One. That's all she wrote. Perfect. Okay, so I am out of food. I'd rather not engage a Lionel's uh, like this because I'm running out of uh, not just... I'm running out of health and I'm also running out of... Um, well, basically I'm running out of health. So that's uh, that's not that's not a good sign. So, okay. So Master Sword. Okay, that's good. And we drop that, and we pick up the Savage Lionel Bow. What did it give me? Oh, it gave me Fire Arrows. Okay, that's fine. Um, that's the one we were using. I'm actually going to go to the Hardy, Fari uh, uh, Hardy Durian Farm. And we don't have enough hooves. We should have enough once we've killed the remaining two. Um, and then come back there. So I'm going to put a pause on this video, do my farm on the Farron Tower, farm up a bunch of hardy durians and cook them up and be back in this shrine to farm the other two Lionels, so uh, stay tuned. And welcome back, I have acquired the hardy durians, I was able to acquire 10 more, so there you have it, and that fulfills my health uh, to 23 hearts, I'm just going to check to have all the right weapons here, okay that's good. There you go, and we are here. Now the next place we're going to go is around this area, I think, right here. There should be another Lionel. So we're going to summon the horse, and off we go. Oh, okay, I can. Okay, and our health's going to slowly dwindle. I find this to be the best way instead of constantly switching back and forth uh, with armor pieces like once I have the snow coal set I can continue doing that but whilst I'm in combat the barb set reigns supreme with the 50% additional damage I suppose I could eat a dish to supplement my attack power but I find the attack banana the, the mighty bananas are harder to acquire okay so this guy is bow and arrow guy sorry Again with the bow and arrow, he, he obviously he's got bow and arrow. He's the savage line and crusher guy. Okay. Okay, so got that. Back to the sword. Okay. Oh gosh. Oh no, okay, that was really bad timing on my part. Okay, that's okay. And run away. Oh gosh, another bad one. Okay, so <laughs> yeah, I'm fighting horribly right now. Yeah, these uh, the these these guys are tough to nail down. Okay, I actually got a flurry rush off of that. Fall things. Okay, run away! Oh gosh, nice. Okay, well, kind of figured I wouldn't be able to mash that one. Okay, that's fine. Hopefully this should give me enough. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna have to pause for a sec here. I apologize for the delay. Um, there were some technical issues on my end. And another ferry gone. That's three left. And just want to finish this guy off at this point. And uh, he's going to do the soaring attack again. No. There he goes. Nope. Not getting too lucky with this spawn right now. It's okay. And he's going to do the swing. Yeah, no. So he's on my case. And I'm low on health again. That's fine. We'll just take these fruits now. I'm definitely experiencing some There you go, finally. I'm definitely experiencing some sort of lag in the inputs here, uh, and I apologize for that uh, causing issues on my end. And I should be able to kill him shortly. That should do it. Awesome. So yeah, that was a little bit more stressful than I thought it would be. Um, but yeah, we got him. Uh, the snow really makes it hard to do combat. Uh, you, you can't really run away that easily. So, I mean, I guess it is what it is. Uh, let's see what we can get rid of now. Let's do this. And give me the Savage Lama Bow. Awesome. Okay, so we are good here. I What arrows did it drop? I suppose I dropped the... Yeah, no. Okay, so that was the other location of the Lionel, around about here. Let's see. We did end up moving a little bit, I would say around here. Mm -hmm. And the third location is about here, but that's okay. I'm gonna fly to my uh, next, uh, to the ferry fountain and try to see what upgrades I can get. <coughs> I prefer this one. Oh, just a per personal preference. <coughs> Excuse me. And hopefully we can upgrade another piece of armor. I'll go with the helm this time. And I'm going to do some more farming of the uh, hardy durian fruit. And then I'm going to be able to engage the next Lionel. Now I'm thinking that the Farron uh, grassland area is not the best area to do that you know, when I'm about to die. Also I'm running low on ferries so you need to keep that in mind as well. How many hooves did I get? So eight. Hmm. I should be able to get some additional ferries from this fountain. So whenever fighting Lionels always carry extra ferries especially when your armor is low. Even when the heart armor is high, should always be safe. And there you go. My fairies back. So all I have to do is hold them, and then that spawns the fairies. Um, as long as your fairy count is less than five. Okay. Mm. Just a couple, eh? Okay, that's fine. Good enough. Now Mifa's grace will help a lot with this. And it takes precedence. Alright, so we got Lionel Hoof. and Oh, okay, I, I think I can upgrade all of it. Perfect. So I will do this. 
and then the final piece uh, requires us setting up the last ferry which is in Gerudo region which is perfect because I do need to make my way up to Gerudo now it's an area that I have uh, not ventured to yet that or the Elden region but Gerudo I've barely even touched actually I have gone there to do the shrine uh, the maze shrine okay so now my armor is 36 I should be able to take a whole lot more damage I can take a whole lot more damage from a lot more monsters now so uh, there's that so 12 12 12 36 as it says over there and attack up times 3 so that's perfect um, this I can just throw out I don't need it be getting more of those and we've got ourselves a decent supply of bows bomb arrows I might be acquiring more of these shock arrows I may want to buy more of those because right now I'm spending a lot of uh, my arrows fighting Lynels uh, that's okay to be expected I'm also looking to get a flame weapon but first and foremost uh, in subsequent parts I'm gonna start making myself over to the Gerudo area because here we need to unlock the last ferry which is at the edge of the desert and of course the Gerudo town area and the surrounding areas as well because we want to unlock the merchant so that we can continuously buy the hearty durian fruit instead of farming it because farming it at that specific location it doesn't respawn fast enough whereas with a merchant as long as you keep resting coming back the next day um, it it will be restocked in their inventory uh, so yeah so that's about it for me thank you very much for watching take care have a wonderful day bye bye